Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Math Army. In a right angle triangle ABC, a circle is a circle with side as diameter is drawn to intersect the hypotenuse AC at point P. Now prove that the tangent to the circle at P bisects BC. Guys, first of all, just focus on the explanation that I am going to give. At the last, I have given the steps. Okay. First of all, ABC in red color. ABC is a right angle triangle. Now, AB is one side of a triangle and which is also the diameter of the circle. So, I have drawn a circle in the black color. Right? And what these people are asking? And somewhere at point P, AC is intersecting. Okay? And where it is? Between A and C, AC is a hypotenuse and point P is intersecting. So let me write P here. And now, what I am supposed to prove? I am supposed to prove this P, the tangent P, bisects BC. So what is the meaning of bisects? BC is dividing into two equal parts. Okay, now, here I have drawn in a blue color guys and I am naming it as Q. Now I need to prove BQ is equal to QC. Fine. And now guys, one of the basic part is that whenever a triangle is drawn in a semicircle, guys, whenever a triangle is drawn in a semicircle, the angle of that triangle is going to be 90 degrees. So here, at an angle P, because AB is a diameter and in the green color I am naming it as 90 degrees. Why? Because a triangle is drawn in a semicircle is always equal to 90 degrees. Now if that is 90 degrees the other part will also be 90 degrees. Why? Because AC is a straight line and straight line angle is 180 degrees. So 90 plus let me name it as x and y. 90 plus x plus y is equal to 180 degrees. So x and y put together, it is also 90 degrees. Okay, let me write that. 90 plus x plus y equal to 180. So therefore, x plus y is equal to 180 minus 90. Which gives me 180 minus 90 is 90. Now, Till here it is fine. Now guys, here from point B, I have drawn a dotted line up to P, right? Now, let me focus on that. So here, at the top, that is at the P, the angle is X. Now, focus on Q. Focus on Q. Q is an outer point and from Q there are two tangents drawn. One is Q to B and second one is Q to P. Now, from an external point, the tangents drawn to the circle are always equal. So by default, by this definition, BQ is equal to QP. Again I am saying, from an external point, the tangents drawn to a circle are always equal. So from Q, Q is an external point. So QB is a tangent, Q is, QP is also tangent. So therefore, BQ is equal to QP. And now, when BQ is equal to QP, automatically the angle B will also be X. Why? Because it is looking like an isosceles triangle. So BQ is equal to QP. Now, at the right side, at the angle C, I have given an another angle Z. Now what this Z indicates? Right now I don't know anything. Now, when I don't know the Z value, what I am supposed to do? So, think around. Now, think of a triangle, bigger picture, P, B, C. Guys, P, B, C. In the triangle P, B, C, when you know that, x plus y equal to 90 at the top. Now, how much you are left with? You are left with x and z. Now, 
when you know that the three angles put together is 180 degrees okay so x and z becomes 90 degrees i am going to explain here in the triangle pbc now angle p is 90 degrees because x plus y is equal to 90 which we already proved so what you're left with you're left with x and z so x and z put together is also 90 degrees how 90 degrees simple guys sum of three angles equal to 90 degrees that's how x plus z is equal to 90 degrees now this is the second proof the first one is x plus y equal to 90 degrees and second one is x plus z equal to 90 degrees now what i'm supposed to do name them as 1 and 2 and this one is 1 this one is 2 now write them together x plus y is equal to 90 and x plus z is equal to 90 and now subtract them so change the signs x and minus x get cancelled and 90 and minus 90 also get cancelled what you are left with x minus z is equal to 0 so therefore sorry y minus z equal to 0 so therefore y is equal to z y minus z goes to the right hand side now once i know that angle y is also equal to z so name it as y equal to z now from angle y qc is the opposite side and similarly from angle z pq is opposite side so for angle y if qc is an opposite side automatically z is z opposite side is pq so by default pq will also be equal to qc okay now with the above explanation i can say that bq is equal to pq is equal to qc okay so from the above explanation i can confidently say that bq is equal to pq is equal to qc so therefore bq is equal to pq again equal to qc now if all three are equal to each other can i say bq is equal to qc yes i can say that now when bq is equal to qc what is the meaning of it the q is dividing bc into two equal parts it's as simple as that so therefore the tangent pq divides bc into two equal parts or i can say that the line or the tangent pq divides or bisects bc so tangent pq divides bc into two equal parts or bisects now guys wait i have given the entire explanation so that you can represent the same in the examinations okay so here wait for a couple of seconds so let me turn the page and this is a complete steps guys so you can just put these steps in the exam and you will be getting the full marks so just pause your video and write it down and for the explanation part play the video again that is going to really help you thank you guys see you in the next video bye for now